oh my god this middleweight title fight is happening paulo costa versus israel adesanya i don't even know what to feel what to think this is the only the second time a ufc title has been contested between two unbeaten fighters only the second time in the UFC's illustrious history. So you've got the big brawler, the muscle bound, the strength, the power of Paulo, Paulo Costa against the precision, the speed, the skill, the striking ability, the technical ability of Israel Adesanya. Who do you choose? I think Adesanya's precision skill, cardio, and technical ability will be too much for Paolo Costa. However, I think Paolo Costa is going to give Adesanya hell in the first two rounds. And I think Adesanya is going to prevail in... I think late third, Paolo Costa is a hulking figure. <laughs> it's like a hulking figure. I don't know anyone who would be happy to face him. But Israel Adesanya is a precision fighter. He is technical striker he is a supreme finisher <laughs> no touch gloves let's get it on early kicks from Alessandra oh Costa trying to put in with big kicks Costa is all power though good kicks by Alessandra again he's flying everything he ain't throwing no punches yet though Costa he found everything with deadly intentions, though. Good kick, Costa. Oh, good kick. Adesanya is putting them in. They're going to start paying dividends soon. If Costa don't keep, don't start checking them. It's all kicks and the all kick fight at the moment for the first round. Looks like Costa's trying to um, pace himself to me. And the sun is just touching him with the kicks, touching him with the kicks. Oh, look! Costa's putting his arms around him. <laughs> Put his arms behind his back. He's trying to draw. And the sun, you're right. Putting his arms behind him. Oh, good kick, Costa. Costa's trying to get cocky to draw. And the sun, you're right. Good kicks for Adesanya. Good kicks. He's picking him off. Oof. Adesanya is looking sharp though, I must say. I see Costa just waiting for that one moment though. The thing is, can Adesanya keep, stay out of range? Adesanya is doing a very well with his kicks though. Scoring shots, keeping him at range. That left leg from Costa is going to start to feel it. Oh, Costa is getting eat up, bruv. He needs to come with some action. Adesanya is doing well, picking him off. Adesanya's looking sharp. Give him that, he's looking sharp. Switching to southpaw as well. Ooh. Costa needs to just mount more offense. Adesanya's done very well. Good round for Adesanya, good first round. Okay, round two. I'm expecting Costa to come out a bit more this round, even though it's still a five round fight. And to me, it looks like he's thinking about that, but. Because of how the first round went, I think I'm expecting Costa to come out a bit more in the second round. Oh, his legs getting eaten up with those kicks. Oh, another good leg kick, Paolo Costa. It's not really landing much, though. Costa's legs eating up, though. His, his legs eating up. Oh, it's just like a kick, kicking fist from Israel. Israel's eating up the legs of those kicks. Trying to close the distance, Costa. Oh, Israel does well to turn and come out. Costa, need, Costa needs to do more to just close the distance. 
Oh, what a kick! Costa felt that. His legs getting eaten up. Did he cut him with a head kick? I said his legs trash. <laughs> oh, good kick! Good kick, Paolo Costa, but Alessandro comes out of a lovely combination. Oh, oh, he dropped him! Oh! Alessandro dropped him! Oh, he's gonna finish him! He's about to finish him! Alessandro finished him in the second round! Adesanya destroyed Paolo Costa. He destroyed Paolo Costa. Oh, wow. That's what I've got to say. Everyone could talk as much as they want to talk. The amount of shit people have talked to me over the past weeks on social media. But at the end of the day, no one no one can deny Adesanya is now amongst one of the greats in UFC. Already. Already. That's all I've got to say. Respect to the middleweight champion. Put some respect on the middleweight champion's name.